that EF3 tornado in El Reno Friday, possibly the same one that flipped the Weather Channel's tornado hunt vehicle, uh, has claimed the lives of three storm chasers. That's right. They're identified as researcher Tim Samaris, who is a longtime chaser and a friend to all of us here at the Weather Channel. Unfortunately, Tim's son Paul was also killed Friday in El Reno while storm spotting, and renowned researcher Carl Young has also died. And it was a pleasure to work with them, of course, with all three of the storm chasers as part of the Vortex project. Here is a look at the profile piece we filed on storm researcher Tim Samaras just one year ago. If tornadoes are looming on the horizon, he's usually nearby. Oh my God, that is incredible. But make no mistake, Tim Samaras is no ordinary storm chaser. He has much loftier goals. I'm Tim Samaras and I'm a storm researcher. We still don't have a clear understanding why some thunderstorms create tornadoes and others don't. The other thing that we're trying to do is measure tornado dynamics. How powerful do tornadoes get near the ground? Finding out why things happen is Samaris's number one passion, and it started basically at birth. When I was a small boy, I wound up taking apart my mother's appliances to figure out how they worked. You know, blenders, toasters, television sets, you name it. I've taken it all apart and I've put them back together. Now, this self-taught engineer and forecaster develops and builds just about all the equipment he uses in his research, whether it's taking measurements in inside a tornado. I designed the electronics, I designed the uh, mechanics that hold everything. Or lightning. I love lightning. I love to capture lightning. I've devised some techniques to capture a lightning strike using high-speed photography. He even moved to his current home because of its weather science connection. You can actually look out to the horizon unobstructed to watch supercells roam across Colorado. And as you might imagine, Samaris has seen countless tornadoes, but it's the ones he can learn from that interest him the most. As you can see, some of these black soot things, like this one, actually being lofted into the air almost at a diagonal, which clearly shows that we have some incredible vertical motion going on. In the end, it comes down to one thing. In collaboration with other scientists that are doing similar research, we can put all of this research together. But when that happens, then the ultimate saving lives goal will, will slowly approach. So Tim Samaris may offer some help in unraveling Mother Nature's mysteries. I'm meteorologist Mike Bettis.